Are you guys ready to see a live reptile show? Yeah. Woo! Holy crap! Oh! Look at here. This here is my friend, if you can call her that, Smedley the Giant Snapping Turtle. Now, Smedley is a common snapper, and she'll live in Georgia, and Florida, and Louisiana. Now, she's a full-grown adult, and you can see the size of her head. Some people would refer to her as a loggerhead turtle. And look at these long, sharp claws. Yeah, she's trying to rake the flesh off of my fingers right now while I hold her like this. And I've got to be careful not to let my hands creep up like this, because then she could reach around and bite my digits off. She has over 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch on that parrot-like beak. And she can bite a broomstick handle in half. And her eyes are camouflaged. So when she lays in wait, down in the swamp, in the muck, in the leaves, she'll sit down there with her mouth wide open and wait for fish to come by. Or anything else that's in the water. And then she'll go and take a plug out of it. Now, if it has the misfortune of being a mammal or a bird on top of the water, the turtle's preferred method of eating is to pull it underwater and drown it, where it can eat it at its leisure. Now, Smedley here is full grown. She weighs about 35 pounds. And I'm going to set her down here on the ground, and I'm going to show you how the snapping turtle can right itself when it's flipped over on its back, which can happen during mating. So hold on. get my reptile hook. And I'm going to put her on her back. This does not hurt the animal. Uh, I can see she's looking around. The man front kind of looks like a woodland duck. Just... Here we go. Alright, now you can see she's over here on her back. She's got her legs stretched up and her webbed feet. She can swim very fast. Oh, was that awesome? That was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's uh, nature at its best. Now, you'll also notice she has these reptile, dinosaur-like scales on her tail. And those are used for protecting that tail in case something bites down on it. And you can see she's walking away, and she's standing up on her feet. She's not belly walking. So she's going to make her way probably to a dark area, to the shade. That's where they like to go. I'm going to pick her up and move her back here so that I can continue to talk to you a little bit. <laughs> now notice I have to be very quick and careful to keep my hands away from the business end of this turtle. Now her shell is made of the same thing as your fingernails. So everyone hold your thumb up and look at your thumbnail. Mine's not painted. And as your nails grow longer, so does her shell. As you can see she's hiding along the side of these baskets, using them for camouflage. And she's going away to the side. These uh, turtles can climb cyclone fences. Those claws that go right over top. I'm gonna bring her out here a little bit closer for you guys to see because I want you to get a good look at this mouth. We don't want to put our fingers near the mouth today. Look, she's all business. She's got that mouth wide open. She's got that parrot-like beak. And she can snatch that neck out 18 inches. So she can really stretch it out. I know a fella that was playing a nana game with a snapping turtle with his foot. He's going na 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 na. And the turtle bit his boot, the sole, and his big toe off with one bite. Yeah. All right, I'm going to set her down so you can have one last look at how she flips over, and then we'll move on to the next animal. Oh, you notice her belly shell is small. It's not like the eastern box turtle that has a big carapace and plaster on. Oh! You see that? See how far out the neck can stretch to? It can come way out. It's not good to hold the turtle by its tail. It puts a lot of pressure on the back. 
So you'll see that I've rubbed off this moss by grabbing her under her shell here. And notice, watch what happens. If I muck with her on this side, look, she tilts that shell down to protect her fleshy, soft parts. And of course, she can give me the business. And if I go on this side and poke her, oh, there was a strike. Right? She can protect herself that way. And if you make a mistake, she'll come around and get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's powerful. Over 2,000 pounds of pressure. I'm going to go ahead and put her away and show you the next animal today. Uh -oh. <laughs>